Hi there. So this is going to be lesson 16-2, classifying quadrilaterals. Um, I already made a video where I show this like, that there's like a rectangle and inside the rectangle there's an oval and then there's another little oval down here and then there's um, a Venn diagram in each side, inside of each one. And basically this is a, a really quick way of describing uh, quadrilaterals. So quadrilaterals um, are all of these. And inside we have parallelograms and then inside the oval, we have, um, sorry, inside the oval, we have um, rectangles and we have rhombuses and then we have a square and then we have a trapezoid. So if you're not sure what any of this means, I would definitely go back and watch that first video um, because I think you're going to find that really, really useful because you need to know the different shapes. Um, the other thing you need to know about classifying quadrilaterals is we're going to be talking about two different things. We're going to be talking about whether or not sides are parallel and whether or not sides are the same length. So keep that in mind as we are going through this. Um, it says here, draw any length of line segment that will fit in the space below. The line segment can go in any direction, but it must be straight. Draw another line segment parallel to the first one. Connect the ends of the line segment um, to make a closed four-sided figure. Uh, what does your shape look like? And so here's basically what we would have done if we would have followed these directions in class. Some of you would have made something that looks like this. This is called a parallelogram. Some of you would have probably made something that looks like this, this is a rectangle, and then some of you, of course, would have probably made a square. They all follow those same directions is what you need to know. Um, and then again, um, just real briefly, trapezoid has one pair of parallel sides, can be shaped lots of different ways, can be shaped sort of like this, that's all wonky. We can have part of it have some right angles, or you can have kind of the classic trapezoid shape where... Um, this these two sides are the same length um, that's kind of the classic trapezoid like the trapezoid tables that we have at school rectangle has four right angles um all rectangles are squares but not all squares are or, I'm sorry all squares are rectangles but not all rectangles are squares and the rhombus has all sides the same length again all squares are rhombuses or rhombuses, but not all rhombuses or rhombuses are squares and um, then square has all sides the same length and four right angles so there is kind of a really quick look at classifying quadrilaterals.